Claiborne de Bordapel, November 22, 1918 to January 1, 2009, was an American politician and writer who served as a U.S. Senator from Rhode Island for six terms from 1961 to 1997. He was the sponsor of the 1972 bill that reformed the Basic Educational Opportunity Grant, which provides financial aid funding to American college students. The grant was later given Pell's name in honor of his work in education legislation. A member of the Democratic Party, he served in the U.S. Senate longer than anyone else from Rhode Island. <laughs> Early life and education Claiborne Pell was born on November 22, 1918, in New York City, the son of Matilda Bigelow and diplomat and congressman Herbert Pell. Pell's family members included John Francis Hamtramck Claiborne, George Mifflin Dallas, and Nathaniel Herbert Claiborne. He was a direct descendant of mathematician John Pell and a descendant of Senator William C. C. Claiborne. In 1927, Pell's parents divorced and his mother remarried U.S. Naval Commander Hugo W. Kohler of St. Louis. Following the First World War, Kohler served as an Office of Naval Intelligence and State Department operative in Russia during its Civil War, and later as Naval Attaché to Poland. Said to be the richest officer in the Navy. During the 1920s, Kohler was rumored to be the illegitimate son of the Crown Prince of Austria and to have assisted the Romanovs in fleeing Russia following the Revolution of 1917, though no evidence of this has been established. Pell was close to his stepfather, who died when Pell was 22. In later years, Pell made a concerted effort to determine the veracity of these rumors surrounding Kohler's past. Pell attended St. George's School in Newport, Rhode Island, and received an A.B. in history from Princeton University in 1940. While at Princeton, he was a member of Colonial Club and the American Whig Cleosophic Society, and played as part of the rugby team. Post-college life After graduating, Pell worked as an oil field roustabout in Oklahoma. He then served as private secretary for his father, who was United States Ambassador to Portugal. At the start of World War II he was with his father, who was then United States Ambassador to Hungary. Claiborne Pell drove trucks carrying emergency supplies to prisoners of war in Germany, and was detained several times by the Nazi government. Topic. Uniformed service Pell enlisted in the U.S. Coast Guard as a seaman second class on August 12, 1941, four months before the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Pell served as a ship's cook, was promoted to seaman first class on October 31, and then was commissioned as an ensign on December 17, 1941. During the war, Pell's ships served as North Atlantic convoy escorts, and also in amphibious warfare during the Allied invasion of Sicily and the Allied invasion of the Italian mainland. Pell was promoted to lieutenant junior grade on October 1, 1942, and then to lieutenant during May 1943. Due to his fluency in Italian, Pell was assigned as a civil affairs officer in Sicily where he became ill from drinking unpasteurized milk. He was sent home during the summer of 1944 for recuperation, but returned to active service later in the war. Pell was discharged from active duty on September 5, 1945. After the end of World War II, he remained in the U.S. Coast Guard Reserve. He retired from that service in 1978 with the rank of captain. <laughs> Personal life and family Pell married Nuala O'Donnell in December 1944. Together, they had four children, Herbert Claiborne Pell III, Christopher Thomas Hartford Pell, Nuala Dallas Pell, and Julia Laurelard Wampage Pell. Herbert September 11, 1945, to September 24, 1999, and Julia May 9, 1953, to April 13, 2006, predeceased their parents. His grandson Clay Pell son of Herbert was an unsuccessful contender in the 2014 Democratic primary for governor of Rhode Island. Diplomatic work, further education 
From 1945 to 1952, he served in the United States Department of State as a Foreign Service Officer in Czechoslovakia, Italy, and Washington, D.C. He was fluent in French, Italian, and Portuguese. In 1945, Pell was a participant with the United Nations Conference on International Organization in San Francisco that drafted the United Nations Charter. In 1946, he completed graduate studies in international relations at Columbia University, receiving a Master of Arts degree. Post-diplomatic career In 1954 Pell was appointed vice president and member of the board of directors of the International Fiscal Corporation. He also served as a vice president and director of the North American Newspaper Alliance. He was also a director of the Franklin D. Roosevelt Foundation, Fort Ticonderoga Association, and General Rochambeau Commission of Rhode Island. He also served as a fundraiser and consultant for the Democratic National Committee. He served as vice president of the International Rescue Committee. Stationed in Austria, he was responsible for assisting refugees from the Hungarian Revolution of 1956 to leave the country and resettle. During Pell's diplomatic career and other international activities in the 1940s and 1950s, he was arrested and jailed at least six times, including detentions by both fascist and communist governments. Political career In 1960, Pell won the job of retiring U.S. Senator Theodore Francis Green, defeating former Governor Dennis J. Roberts and former Governor and U.S. Senator J. Howard McGrath in the Democratic primary, and former Rhode Island Republican Party Chairman Raoul Archambault in the general election, despite being called, "...the least electable man in America." By John F. Kennedy because of his many odd habits and beliefs, Pell proved a durable politician. He won re-election five times, including victories over Ruth M. Briggs 1966, John Chaffee 1972, James G. Reynolds 1978, Barbara Leonard 1984, and Claudine Schneider 1990. Often considered by his opponents to be too easygoing, Pell demonstrated his effectiveness as a campaigner. During his first campaign, when he was accused of carpetbagging, Pell published newspaper advertisements featuring a photograph of his grand-uncle Duncan Pell, who had served as lieutenant governor of Rhode Island during the 1860s, thus demonstrating Pell's association with the state. When Briggs called him a cream puff, during their 1966 campaign, Pell turned that to his advantage and mocked Briggs by obtaining an endorsement from a local baker's union. During his first campaign, Pell also used his foreign experience to great advantage, impressing some largely immigrant audiences in person and on the radio by campaigning in their native languages. Topic: <laughs> Personality and beliefs. Pell was known for unusual beliefs and behaviors, including wearing badly worn suits, using public transportation and purchasing cheap used automobiles despite his wealth, and an interest with the paranormal. He also wore his father's belt as a memento, despite the fact that Herbert Pell was stouter than the rail-thin Claiborne Pell, requiring Claiborne Pell to wrap the belt around his waist twice to make it fit. <laughs> Arrest allegation. In 1972 author and former lobbyist Robert N. Winter Berger wrote about Pell's alleged arrest during a raid on a Greenwich Village homosexual bar in 1964. Pell denied the allegation. There were no police records, witness statements or other sources to corroborate Winter Berger allegation. Despite legal advice to sue for defamation, Pell decided that it would draw undue publicity to the allegations. Topic. Pell Education Grants Pell was largely responsible for the creation of Basic Educational Opportunity Grants in 1973, renamed Pell Grants in 1980, to provide financial aid funds to U.S. college students. Pell Grants initially provided for grants for prisoners but Congress later eliminated that provision. 
For some years there was more money available than was applied for. He was the main sponsor of the bill that created the National Endowment for the Arts and the National Endowment for the Humanities, and was active as an advocate for mass transportation initiatives and domestic legislation facilitating and conforming to the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. Later Senate career Pell served as chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee from 1987 to 1995. In 1990 he was re-elected to his sixth and last term of the Senate. In 1996, his last year with the Senate, Pell voted against the Defense of Marriage Act, which banned the federal government from legally recognizing same-sex marriage. Pell declined to seek re-election in 1996 and retired on January 3, 1997. Pell served with the Senate for 36 continuous years, making him the longest-serving U.S. Senator in the history of Rhode Island. He was succeeded by Jack Reed. <laughs> Death After retirement, Pell lived in Newport and was a communicant of St. Columba's Church in Middletown. He occasionally attended public functions of organizations with which he was affiliated. Toward the end of his life, he was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Claiborne Pell died on January 1, 2009. His funeral was performed at Trinity Church in Newport, Rhode Island. In addition to members of his family, Pell was eulogized by former President Bill Clinton, Senator Edward Kennedy, and then Vice President elect Joe Biden. He was buried at St. Columba's Episcopal Church Berkeley Memorial Cemetery in Middletown, Rhode Island, near the graves of his son Herbert and his daughter Julia, who had predeceased him. Soon after his death, the newspaper The New York Times termed Pell the most formidable politician in Rhode Island history. <laughs> <laughs> Authorship, recognition, organizations Topic. Published works Senator Pell authored two books, Megalopolis Unbound, The Supercity and the Transportation of Tomorrow 1966, and A Challenge of the Seven Seas co-author Topic awards and honors Senator Pell received more than 40 honorary college degrees, including recognition from Johnson & Wales University, the University of Vermont and the University of Massachusetts. In 1987 Pell was among those selected for the United Nations Environment Programme's Global 500 Roll of Honor. During the first year that award was established, in 1988, Pell received the Foreign Language Advocacy Award from the Northeast Conference on the Teaching of Foreign Languages in recognition of his work in establishing Establishing the NEA, the NE, and the Pell Grant Program. On October 14, 1994, Pell was presented with the Presidential Citizens Medal from President Bill Clinton. Rhode Island's Newport Bridge was renamed the Claiborne Pell Bridge, and the Pell Center of International Relations and Public Policy was established at Sav Regina University. Pell was a Chevalier of the French Legion of Honor. He also received the Knight Grand Cross of the Order of the Crown of Italy. His awards for service in the Coast Guard during the Second World War included the American Defense Service Medal, American Campaign Medal, European African Middle Eastern Campaign Medal, and the World War II Victory Medal. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Memberships. Pell was a member of the Rhode Island Society of the Cincinnati. Pell was also an honorary life member of the Rhode Island Society of Colonial Wars as well as a member of Spouting Rock Beach Association Bailey's Beach and the Newport Reading Room. <laughs> 